Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and perhaps even good evening. Thank you so much for being here with me and joining me for another exciting, super spontaneous, might I add, in the studio session with Das 3D. Wonderful that you could all join me. This was a stream we had kind of smuggled in there. Well, actually, I had kind of smuggled in there because I thought, hey, I've had so much fun last time putting Greta together. And my original plan was literally to make like two or three custom characters with Genesis 9. But of course, that... Um, didn't quite pan out because, you know, Jay takes his time with things. So uh, I'm kind of hoping that we can maybe make up for it today because, of course, Greta, now that, she's, you know, that, she, that she exists, she needs, uh, she needs a partner. So I hope you can all help me with that. Thank you so much for being here. Forgotten Lectures, the Septitum is here. Thank you again for being here. Some of you have been in my earlier stream on my own channel where we've been playing a bit of Deathloop as well as Cook, Surf, Delicious, 10th anniversary of the franchise. Very cool. Nancy is back. Changeling Chick. Thank you so much for those presets. If you have a new version, do let me set, do send it over. Uh, Changeling Chick has sent me something. We had a question last time about can we apply something along those lines of aging spots or um, like liver spots on the face? And she made it happen and she sent it over, but maybe it was wrong. So <laughs> send it, send over the right one, and we're gonna we're gonna have a look at it together. Nate is here. Brian is here. Julia is here. The Techno Magia is here. Ted Murphy, Casey got up so early thank you so much i really appreciate that gerardo massacre and the forgotten lectures i've, I've, I've uh, shouted you out already there is also web soul the nico vanishing point and ascania msc and that is dave summers that is everyone i can see in the chat also check my movie we'll check that out later so um i'll go and quickly show you what we've made uh, last time actually you've you've seen her already let me just go and load her in and then i can show you it's i don't think it's the right outfit for her it's in 
in custom characters and Greta. These are all my skin presets I've made. Then let me just go and load version 2 in because I removed the jowls. Also, can I show you the high-res renders that I've made there on my art station page? That that might that might that might be. There we go. This is it. I've made some renders of her, and I thought you can all have a look at her. No, I don't want to sign in. It's cool. I was already signed in. Stop signing me out. <laughs> there, I'm going to go and post that link in here so you can all have a look. Uh, so, so these are all the four um, skin presets. And all I've done to Greta is I've taken away this jowly bit here. This was actually happening because we dialed in the age of the face by about 150% and that kind of brought that out. So quick trip into ZBrush and it was taken care of. So there's now a, a de-jowl morph in there, so kind of cool. And I've made a comparison here between the 8 skin, 8K skin detail applied and not applied. So you can see what the difference that makes. Um, the Just to reiterate on that, like I said last time, this is not something that will blow all the pieces to shreds. It's just one additional 8K normal map that's applied all over the character. One for the female, one for the male version, and that brings out that additional detail. It had tests have apparently been shown that when you size that down, the impact isn't quite as big as leaving it 8K. The additional overhead is just under 100 megabytes, megabytes, not gigabytes, megabytes of VRAM usage. So it's not it's not that bad. And um, it'll it'll work on a four gigabytes graphics card. I have tried that out. So one of those things. Okay, so um, here she is the de jowly bit and we're going to load her in together with our with our guy that we're going to make i suppose it's going to be i think a good name for him uh where is that where where oh where is that oh where is that now it's in uh is in is it in uh it's somewhere in Mor Mor morphs there we go <laughs> de jowl morph there we go so this was the original and i've just smoothed that out with with zbrush so it's kind of it's it's an easy fix so that's greta 9 version 2 but today we're going to need to make a man for her i thought a male companion is a great idea and i would greatly appreciate it if you guys could help me out picking the correct features for him and um, changing chick uh, did you say let me just let me show you what what you sent me because i haven't had a look at it i've just uh i've just applied it this here this is what it looks like and you can tell me if that is uh, the correct version or not. And if it isn't, I'm happy to swap it out. I'm just going to apply it. I think that the first one did say CC Makeups Makeups Liver Spot. So it looked like the correct one. Let me just go and double click apply first. I think, I suppose, I haven't looked at this yet, um, but this is probably going to switch on on the skin thingy magic here, the detail channel, yes it does. And then the second thing I'm gonna apply, namely this, will load a texture into that. This is kind of the new makeup editor that I have no experience with whatsoever. I'm really, really happy that you've already added something that might work with it. Oh, give it a second, LIE is a little slow. They are working on improving that, by the way, so that's the one, perfect, I, I love it. <laughs> yes, they are improving on. Uh, they, are, they are working on improving LIE. So we'll see when that comes out. So it looks like it's still taking its time. And so what happens in the background is that the whenever you work with LIEs, I'll say a little bit more about this in a moment. But whenever you work with LIEs, there are multiple layers of an image stacked on top of one another. But their studio doesn't apply all of them in like live it goes and processes them to turn them into a proxy image like a like a temporary image and that is that image that is then applied in the actual channel and that's then what comes out with rendering so um if this happens this is kind of okay we're just gonna wait it out they're gonna be large maps so there we go Bing. okay oh my i can't see it i can see it there are the spots in filament. Uh, there's also something here that may or may not be what we want. <laughs> so maybe I should have just applied it on the face. I can't tell. That doesn't look good. <laughs> but you know, if we just go by the spots and if we just disregard the UV thing for now, that is not bad. And now I think it's fairly easy to just go uh, enable and disable the detail here. You thought that's no, that's the detail channel. What am I talking about? It's the makeup channel, isn't it? Duh. 
<laughs> there it is. That is probably where that is, isn't it? Maybe it isn't. I don't know. <laughs> it's not on makeup though. Exactly. Good point. So this is makeup now. I mean, it's not on there. This is off. Is it going to go off? This is what happens when you try things out live. <laughs> I think you have the old one. Okay, cool. Let me go and um, unmap that and you can go and send me the new ones and we'll go and look at this um, at the end. Let's do that. But this is great. I mean, if like just, just in principle, just giving people a little bit more age, that'd be good. This is also going to work on Greta, right? Because it's going to be uh, G9 Universal. Oh, it's the right files? Hit undo a few times. I'm just going to go do this. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that and then just go and um, and load my my Greta girl in again and we'll try this all again it's the right files and the makeup channel is part of the PBR skin hmm I may be a little confused. <laughs> See, let me know how, <laughs> let me know what I need to do next. I'll go to your files, I suppose. I, I set, I, I enable her. I go to your files. I go to makeup. And do I do this first? Keep in mind, everyone, I'm working with the pre release version of the figure and the pre release version of the files. Check her arm surface. Uh, okay, arm surface. I don't think I've delved too much into that. Oh, that was actually the skin. No nope, surfaces. Arms. Here we go. Let me know. Makeup is disabled there right now. Oh, so would that have been... Should I have just disabled that? Apply everything as I did before and just disable it on the arms? Is that what I'm doing? Vanishing point, we did two streams in great length about uh, G9. Um, so many things have improved. The, um, the, there's, 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 there's a lot. <laughs> Today we're, we're making a custom character. Let me just go try this again. Apply first, so that applied it to the face. Let me go and do the makeup again, right? Oh, so I've updated my my files here. So that just to let everyone know, we had an internal change where the team have updated the Genesis figure, which is partly why it hasn't been released yet. There's been a UV change. Uh, I thought I had updated that, but it might just be that that is not the case. What's the UV listed on the arms? UV maps, base, multi, UDIM. Is that, is that correct? Let's just hope. <laughs> we can look into this another time. I'm okay with that. DZ, welcome. I'm okay with that. Let's look at it another time. That's cool. Let me go load in a fresh version of the Genesis figure that I have. And that's this one here. This is the alpha stuff. It could be that that's still it. I'm going to go to, with this one here. That should be the beta stuff. And I'm going to go and use this figure here. And then we'll start building a male guy out. Here he is. Let me, uh, we could, we could, let's try to apply your preset um, at the end, Changeling Chick, and see if we, uh, if we can do that. I'm going to go and split my viewport again into two parts so that we can have a side view and a non-side view. Like this, I've got Genesis 9 selected here, and I might just go and use the orthographic view here from the left. And then here we're going to whiz around and we'll see what we can do with the body proportions. I suppose, Julia, let's make a poll then. So first of all, we're going to make this, this person male. Uh, but do we want to make it a tall male, a medium-sized male, or a short male? Because we can do it all with one figure. Uh, let me go and put this guy over to, no, uh, base morphs. No, um, actually, not here at all, into people. And we go and say base masculine. Ding, there we go. That's our base male guy. And last time 
we started with the base female. So now we're going to go and start with the base male figure. Shortcake says Technomagia. Okay. Tiny. Oh, it looks like the short people are... <laughs> Ascanium wants dwarfs, okay. Let me go give you some some examples here, if I can remember where they are. So that I think is under full body, and there's the proportional sliders here. So uh, can I find those? Proportion. I might just go and look for them. Proportion. So the proportion larger would be this. Larger or taller rather, so there's two things. This one is larger and the other one is height, so that is also possible. We can make him just taller or shorter like that. But then the other one that I find really cool is the, the one in which we can make the proportion smaller, like so. There's also proportion smaller body only, so I suppose that does not include the head. Okay, so the head remains unchanged. <laughs> Interesting. I think that's a slider I haven't seen before. So it looks like this is definitely the right version of the figure. So proportion smaller does that. We don't have to do it to about 100%. We can do it a little bit larger than that, like to, uh, to something like 70-80%. That's all good. Or we use him as a medium, them as a medium-sized person. Or oh, then we can go and make this larger let me know 31 votes already i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with this one as well and then we have 45 percent go for smaller okay interesting interesting right <laughs> a giant dwarf brian that's an interesting idea Brian is one of my moderators. Everyone with the little gear icon, with the little wrench icon in the chat is a moderator. So that's Brian today, aka Zero Calvin. There's also the Dragonate. And there's also Julia. But Julia is now currently DAS, so she's gonna do she's gonna do polls. She's in charge of polls. And Camilla is also a mod, and Christina is also a mod, so there we go. <laughs> we love the mods. That's so nice of you to say. Okay, well, it looks like 46% say smaller person, 28% say taller person, 25% say medium person. So I'm thinking, uh, let's go and see what we can do here with the uh, proportion smaller. I'll go and set this to 50% and then we're going to make an educated decision as to do we want to leave him here because he is a he now or do we want to make him even smaller? We can go all the way down to 200, but that is, I don't think that's... Uh, I think that's 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 great. <laughs> that just distorts feature. So I think a hundred is probably as much as we should make him. The sim at a hundred, but as I said, we don't have to leave him there. We can just go make him like fifty percent or something. Because otherwise, it'll be difficult to frame them up together. Maybe I'll do that. Fifty percent, it is. There was a question uh, recently, do we, is there a way to, will measure metrics be updated? And to be honest, I don't actually know. Um, that would be nice because I think many of you have been asking for a feature in which you would like to dial in a slider and then see exactly what the height of the character is. But currently I have no information if that is going to happen or not. So that's the size of him. Now let's go and have a look at the body proportions. Do we want to make him a, a slim, small person, slim, medium build or portly, stocky? Let me know. Slim person, medium build person or portly, stocky. Not to say fat guy. But yeah, that is, that is what I mean. Let's see if I can find it because that would be the next thing to find here. So there's like a thin person would be something along the lines of emaciated or just skinny, like lithe. Lithe and emaciated, that would be, those are the options for thin. There's also body thin, we can do that, like something like that. Or we're going to leave him as he is, maybe just make him a little muscular. We can do that with muscle definition, or do we want to make him something along the lines of heavy? Julia, I think we're going to need another poll for that. So this would be heavy. And then there's also in the masculine section, there's 
portly, we can do that as well. So portly and or stocky or a combination thereof. It doesn't have to be 100%, it can just be something along the lines of that. So this would be like a heavy kind of guy. <laughs> Skinny, medium, muscular or heavy. Okay, a muscular could, could be applied to any of these people, but we'll see. So that, that would be a kind of a heavy set guy. Let me see what we have in the in the thin department. So emaciated, that is if you haven't eaten a lot, but there's also lithe and or thin. So you can also just uh, complement all of these things together. This would be like a like a really skinny person here. And we can change the head uh, proportionally. So if we wanted to deal with the head and make that smaller or larger or whatnot, we can do that as well. Or we can make him muscly or heavy or any combinations thereof. <laughs> Let's see. Might even make him a little smaller, like 60%. He'll evolve as we go along. He'll evolve. I'd like to see a combination of muscular and heavy. So if those two win, then we can do this. So we can do this together. Yes, um, check your movie. Um, check my movie. Check my movie. Your movie. Our movie. It's true. It'll probably fit if you if you can render Genesis eight, then you can also render Genesis nine. I don't think there's going to be a problem with that. I've tested this extensively on a four gigabyte graphics card, the GTS 970, and that worked out okay. Ascania heavy with muscles, of course. Good idea. Short cake, not short steak. I like it. <laughs> a wee portly chap. Well, muscular and heavy looks like those are in the in the top range. Let's go and do that. If there's no more other, no more votes, let's go and do that. I might go and get ready for that. Muscly and heavy set. Let's do that. Muscly. So muscly, I think because he's been, you know, he's been beating people with a stick quite a lot. We should also, while we're thinking about the character, we should also think about the relationship between him and Greta. So I think Hank is a good name. If you agree with that, do let me know. Hank is, is a good name. If you have any other suggestions, Hank and Greta, I think that's a kind of a, kind of a cool idea. Uh, but what's his relationship with Greta? Is he, do they know each other for six hours or six weeks or six years? Are they friends? Are they adversaries? Are they partners? That sort of thing. So Hank, Hank, <laughs> Sepp, Hank is good, right? So we have Hank and Greta. Okay, let's go and put a little bit of portliness into you. Portly or stockiness? I think stocky works rather well. How about stocky and portly? Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Heavy set guy. And then we get a little, just a tiny bit of, of heaviness maybe in there. Body heavy. Oh, I'm thinking that might be... The, the legs might might stack up the wrong way. Something not quite right with the legs. That looks a bit that looks a bit much. I think either one of these works okay. Oh stocky, that's the stocky does that. Or is it the proportional slider? It could be the proportional slider. This is something I think I'd I'd I just like to wipe out with a bit of zbrushness at the end perhaps. Because I did like the rest of it. It's just that the legs, and then when you accentuate that, that's a bit, that's muscly, but in, but, but the wrong way. <laughs> he needs a beer gut. <laughs> it's so funny that you can, that you can, oh, there's also the feminine morphs we can smuggle in there. As I said last time, that's not gonna, they don't look great on the male figure. And let's make him, give him that, that, that tad of a belly here. It's not to say that he can't also have a little fitness. Give him a little definition here. I don't want to destroy him, of course. Yeah, legs, debatable. I think, I think we're going to go and just wipe that out. 
with a custom morph. I think that'll that'll look better. <laughs> Nate says his legs are fine. Let's let's move on to the face then. I'm thinking. And that's there's other things. So like face, we'll we'll deal with this separately now. But I think there's this little kink here. It could just be that I'm I'm using a few too many morphs together. It's a good starting point, nevertheless. <laughs> Fitness and fatness sounds good to me. I like it, Yoshi. You know, let's match the let's match the head up with the body, because he still looks his his body looks weathered, but his his face says he's a little young. Let me go and just like I did last time, I'll add an environment options node here, and I'll go and just twiddle the dome orientation uh, over here. So we don't see half of the face in the shadow. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's hand. Sorry, I meant head. <laughs> so head, we have head base. So it's cranium size, head proportional size. That might be something we need to we need to address first. So I think the head in proportion to the body just doesn't look quite right. Let's see what we can do there. I don't know. Cranium. Cranium height. That's nice, like a flathead kind of guy. I like that. Cranium slope, perhaps. See, a man is already coming together. Joseph says a stronger brow. Yes, absolutely. Let's do that. <laughs> and a long, sharp shin. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we go and uh, try the chin first. Would that be in the neck section? If not, we can always see if the chin has its own. Oh, that's in the face section. Chin. There's a cleft. If we start from bottom to top <laughs> or intermingle. Should we do a cleft? Yes or no? Do we do let me know? That's definitely coming out here. Chin. Chin height also. That's a remarkable chin that. Chin width also. Looks just like a superhero here. <laughs> Wider chin. Of course, with the cleft. Accentuated cleft, perhaps, by taking the parameters to another level. That's a good cleft. Right? <laughs> Wider face, okay. Let's see what we can do. A chin lip depth. Yeah, that is that is nice. Hey? Make that a bit more pronounced. A wider face. Okay, that might be just in the face base section here. Face flat. That's not that. Face face older. That changes some of his features here. I think we've made Greta older. I think I made Greta kind of 150, I think. But that had um, other chin issues here as well. So, or neck issues rather. But we can try that with him as well. Yeah, there we go. I think that is the, the kind of neck issue <laughs> that we have. <laughs> Nose definitely bigger, I agree. So let's not make the same mistake again. I just make it 100. Before we have Zevo's aging morphs, which I don't know if he's working on this, but I would imagine it's such a popular product. I'm sure he would. I'm sure we're going to see aging morphs for Genesis 9 eventually. Face round. Oh, yeah. So this round. I'm thinking something like I like this shape, but then now just make it kind of wider. 100 year old. Do you know, I remember when I was in Germany, there was an advert for... Uh, for a beer on the tube and 
there were like these four gentlemen or so, or three or four gentlemen, and they were all like 450 years old, and they looked extremely old. And I don't really know how they've made that. That must have been like 15 years ago. And they had these extreme nasal hair bushels growing out, and extreme ear hair, and extreme eyebrows, and like extreme riffles in the face. And the idea was that they've been brewing beer for like 400 odd years after the German purity law. And that was the, that's a joke. <laughs> a brewery in Hamburg that shall remain nameless. 1500% all the way. <laughs> Changing Sixties, maybe he's her grandson. Okay, that would mean he would get away with not being quite as old, just more like a weathered type of character. I like it. I like that. That is a nice that is a nice idea. I do like that. Square up the face. Yes, let's let's see if we can do that. So there's also heavier brows while I'm just on the on the brow section here. Oh, and also there's these um these beautiful asymmetry morphs that we can just make them we can just dial them in so that the face doesn't look exactly symmetrical. Start bulging that out a little bit here. And we have more of that down here than on the other side. But I think there's another there's another way to, to square it up. Could it be angle? Okay, oh no, that's that's angle like this. Like on the side, on the right hand side we can see that. Uh, face center depth. Oh yeah, I see. <laughs> Interesting. I'll leave that untouched. Face depth. That is that is that. That and then wider. Let's do that tendency to do that and then and then a bit wider. This flat heart all around size square. There we go. That is what we want, isn't it? This looks like one of the one of the tiki statues from the Easter Island. But yeah, that kind of direction here, I'm thinking. Yeah, there's character in that man. And we haven't even gotten to the nose or the ears yet, so haha. -ha. <laughs> right? I like it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Changing chick, that is so funny. I think this I think the 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 um the neck bit is better now, but I think that that a little bit of smoothing is probably gonna help. Hey, this is this is nice. Let's keep going. Let's keep going here. How about brows? We said brows. They need to be like more pronounced. So we have depth, sharpen, sharpen's a good start. Brow skin slack. Oh, I see. That's what that does. Oh, brow temple narrow. Sometimes you just gotta. Oh, that's those are the temples here. Oh yeah, nice, interesting. Brow hall height. It's like where are they? And this is independent from the expression. And there's the whole size. Yeah, size. Crank that up. Size and width, huh? And we don't actually. Um, I think. Eyebrows, they're not they're not with us just yet. I do have a beta version of Victoria's eyebrows that I've used for Greta last time. I think I might just apply that to him as well. They're still in the works. They're coming with the product, I believe, but uh, they're not exactly out yet. I think these ones work best. These ones don't quite fit. Just so that we can see where the eyebrows are. And I'm going to go and make those a little um, darker as well. Eyebrows dark. There. Yeah. 
and I know a lot of you are waiting for Genesis 9 to be released and sadly I don't have any information on when the exact release date is happening. My information was always mid to late October. Um, mid October it is now so it should be pretty soon. I'm, I'm sure it'll be here before we know it. Part one of the puzzle is that Dash Studio 4.21 is in your hands, 4.21 and let me just give a big shout out to Cake One, who's made this beautiful splash screen here. I think it's one of the prettiest splash screens that has ever been in Das Studio for Das Studio 4.21. This is, of course, Victoria. And when I saw that in the beta version in our publishing build, I was thinking, my God, that looks amazing. And uh, she confirmed later on Twitter that it was actually her. So well, well done. <laughs> well done. Now he looks like he's judging us. <laughs> the changes mainly in 4.21 is that it's the requirement for you to uh, to run Genesis 9. Um, there's some other improvements under the hood, so basically that it can deal with all the Genesis 9 parameters, I believe. There's also some performance improvements under the hood. And uh, the makeup editor, there's some, some changes that they've made to that, so that is... That is the bulk that I know. There's some functionality changes that are important for PAs so that Genesis 9 can be, um, the clothing for Genesis 9 can be rigged properly. So those things are in there. There is actually something, any of you who are using Windows 7, I just wanted to shout that out. Um, Windows 7 support will be dropped, I believe, in 4.21.1. So anything that has that says 4.21.0 point something is likely going to work with Windows 7. But if you still are running uh, nodes with Windows 7 and uh, Dash Studio 4.21.1 comes out, um, that is, I believe, Windows 7 support is supposed to be dropped at that point. Windows 7 for the win. <laughs> um, Skinly, yes, actually, I do use it myself. It's uh, it's really nice to boost productivity. It's a it's a sweet little sweet little thing that um, if you are working on on uh, multiple renders and your this computer is is kind of tied up with doing that, and all my render nodes are tied up with stuff, then I do send stuff over to Boost and let it run for a couple of hours. So it does help with productivity. Browse. I think we're good with the browse, right? Browse. What else? We got cheeks. Yes, let's see what we can do with the cheeks. Base cheeks. Left size. Oh, yeah, that, that kind of bulges out. This here. And that. Who else here has experience with Boost for Das? Just out of curiosity. One of the PAs. Yeah, there we go. Like, you know, put that over to the, to the side. Make that asymmetrical. Sweet. <laughs> Cheek crease depth. Oh, that makes him a little, little more weathered. I like, I like some of that. Cheek lower size. Oh no, no, no. We we don't want to bulge that out. If anything, we want to. Gonna go into the negative here. Yeah, minus fifty. Bring it on. Cheek middle diagonal bisect. Some of these changes are very subtle. But it would take you forever to go into ZBrush and model that in. So for PAs, this is a huge deal. If you can get 90% or 80% of your character done with these dials, that's just much easier than to take it and do all that in your sculpting application. It'll save some time. And then for those of us who don't really go to ZBrush to sculpt characters, we just do it all in here, which is really nice. One big other change for PAs, and we've seen this for the first time with the Genesis figure, is that with cheek slack, I like it, is that these morphs are available for customers as well as for PAs as part of um, merchant resource deals. So uh, PAs will be able to use these sliders build their kind of dream character, kind of what I'm doing, and then you can export it and import it again as a single HD morph slider, and then that can be part of your character, or you can use these, these adjustments as part of your custom character. You can go ahead into other programs and then fine tune it, of course, but um, that was something that wasn't, that wasn't available before. 
cheek to jaw size. Oh, okay. That, oh yeah, I see. Cheek to jaw size. I'm not sure. Do we like it? <laughs> Do we like the tendency of it? I'm not sure we do. I'm not sure we do. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I think we talked about this before. Um, yeah, I, I like it too. I like it too. It's just that it, if you need additional capacity like this afternoon, you can get it through Boost, which is which is cool. So it's something you probably don't want to use it all the time or you don't need it all the time but if and when and you're like especially for pa and you go yeah my product needs to really be out the door i still have seven other promo renders to do i'm, I'm running out of time i just don't have time to let them run overnight i need them in you know three hours or so just use um, use boost and outsource chin depth jaw middle curve we got the we got the jaw oh okay yeah okay jaw just adds so much totally different personality to these things jaw rare high jaw slack that sounds like a good one. Oh yeah this is almost that additional slider that i need uh, so i don't have to i don't have to worry too much about it i think i'd, I'd still want to smooth it out here Yeah, but that's basically that that middle bit here like if i'm looking at this part that was this middle bit that we haven't had so we're, we're just using that to fill this in man the attention to detail on this figure is just unbelievable jaw whole height okay that's like a, that sounds like a good one. Oh yeah totally different isn't it this versus that That looks like a handsome stranger. So let me know then. This is so if we're just talking about the jaw height before we go over to jaw sharpen and all those good things here. Jaw hole size. How about the height? Are we good with this height or do we want to have it slightly further up here? It doesn't have to be all the way. Where do we want the jaw? Higher or lower? Or like when I say lower, I don't think I'd want to make it lower like this, but this would be the lower version and this would be the higher version. I like the idea of somewhere in the middle here. Do let me know what you think. And we'll do just that. So options would be 0, 50% and 100%. This is 0, 50%, 100%. Do let me know. <laughs> Bit higher, right? Norm Fox, Fox, I think so too. I think I, my favorite currently is kind of 50 ish. 35 <laughs> could be. What is 35? 35 is this. Yes. Also cool, then it retains that. 47. <laughs> that retains the tendency <laughs> that we had before with the kind of longer face. Indeed, WebSoul. Yes, that is correct. Like changing success. That's exactly right. Perhaps if we go the middle and go with 40. Before, 100%. And 40. And 40 it is. What other things do we have here? Jaw hole size. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting. And also interesting. And look how it's how it changes personality of this guy all the time. I don't think either of these things work, so let's go leave that in the middle. Jaw hole width. That is like superhero material, isn't it? And jaw to neck slack. What is that? That is, oh, that is this. 
Oh, sweetness, look at that. Is that cool or what? Jaw to neck slack. You can tighten that up, you can make it a little more. Super cool. It's almost like we want to tighten it up a little bit. Yeah, like minus, minus 25, minus 30, something like that. <laughs> uh, Websol, I believe there'll be a third party product available that makes that possible. So the geometry is completely different and the therefore the UVs can't be just changed to make uh, G8 and 8.1 skins available on G9. But so they're, they're basically parts missing. And this is likely being done with um, with uh, grafts or with geoshells. And I believe I've read somewhere that uh, there is a PA product in the works for this. So it's not gonna be released literally at the beginning of the G9 journey, but I have a feeling that's probably gonna come. Because I have a feeling that there's a there's a demand for that. I don't know what the score is with with uh, bringing morphs over, but you know how inventive PAs are. <laughs> Give it six months <laughs> and just just watch what comes out. <laughs> so, but on the whole, um, the the big question that I've I've had a few times already is it worth doing that going through this um, and is it worth upgrading characters especially if you're making sequential stories and you need the character to look the same going forward is it worth taking the plunge into genesis 9 and uh, this is highly subjective of course but from what i can see and i've been using genesis since since genesis 1 literally since victoria four days um this has been these are the significant improvements in here that i wouldn't want to live without i mean the expressions alone are probably worth the upgrade even though it does take quite a bit of work to get that done and um, there's i think there's going to be a fairly easy way to make genesis 8 native clothing work on genesis 9 either with auto fit or by just retrofitting it um, that's that's not actually that big a deal because we have very good auto fit clones in the genesis 9 figures for genesis 8 also the uh, the transfer utility that rigs clothing to the new figure has been greatly improved thanks to some fitting templates that mata has been working on and um uh, and yeah, there's the, there's the, the the geometry that's been improved. So it's uh, it's I th I th it's highly subjective. I probably wouldn't jump into it like on release day, but over time, I think as you get to know the new figure, I think you'll you probably want to um, you probably won't want to live without its benefits. Like uh, the the asymmetric morphs is another extremely cool feature. But for me, really, the clincher was the the expressions. And there's still so much testing. I mean, this is this is still all early access stuff. Um, I, we we all still have so much to learn with this new figure. But from what we can see so far, it's been it's been really really nice working with them. With them. Yes, absolutely. Like shoes, rigging shoes was always a total nightmare. And now there's there's ba barely anything to do. You just you just import your obj um in the correct position you run the transfer utility and it, it kind of just works magically it's very cool there's like there's always like a little bit of a touch-up that you had to do but um shoes used to be a total nightmare after you um rig them or like the like when you rig shoes for genesis 8 they always come all out uh, crumpled and there's always issues and they don't seem to do that anymore um adjustment morphs are another thing that if a garment used to after a rigging process used to fit Genesis 8 and then you dial up your custom character you always got a lot of ugliness and you had to have these additional fit morphs and it took clothing creators quite a lot of time to to um, work on them and to put them in and then when you do that then you have a problem when you dial in two partial character morphs and you have a get into have a bit have to have a fit morph for that or an adjustment morph that that is a lot of work that often customers haven't really seen but it's been weighing heavy on the clothing creators minds and customers see the effects that something isn't working 
because there's always that morph that you need that isn't in the clothing and um, that's all also been greatly improved so the way the new rigging process works is that once if you do it properly um, and Marta was kind enough to explain this to me so I'll relay this to you at a, at a um, when the time comes um, it's it's you you rig up an item of clothing and most of these morphs they can be dialed in with no visible poke through or uh, distortion you can even stack them up that's the other cool thing it's not just that one morph works like five six seven morphs work as well and uh, that's just that's just awesome so I'm, I'm super impressed by that Heels are still painted. I think Mara is working on a heels template next. I think that's like next on the to-do list. <laughs> right, WebSol, I totally agree. I totally agree, especially when new products come out. Uh, for Genesis 8, it's also actually really good news that Genesis 9 is coming because you're going to be able to pick up so many cool tools and clothing items on many, many sales that I'm sure are going to come up. So that is also what I'm looking forward to. Stuff where I'm thinking, well, 25 bucks, I'm not entirely sure. If that was 5 or 8, I might be able to do that. And <laughs> And the skins, yes, absolutely. I haven't actually tested if the Velis hair from Genesis 8.1 works on Genesis 9, or in fact, if the if the 8K HD texture that, that adds the detail to Genesis 9, if that works on older figures. I haven't tested that. And looking at him though, do we need to do we need to dial in his belly button <laughs> like we did last time? Maybe he just needs a bit of a bigger belly button or maybe we just need to switch him to to resolution 3 here just to see the to see that morph in its entirety i think this is a hd morph yeah so this is what it really looks like that could probably be a little bit larger let's do that just while we're here i think it's called the navel navel there we go on the waist navel depth hd let's go and tune that in hd morphs they work at a higher subdivision resolution so to preview them you need to uh, enable that in your viewport otherwise you see something like a low res result you'll still see it in the in the render properly because that's a few notches higher i think that is another thing that has changed often the genesis 8.1 characters they came at a view sub d level of something like two or three just so that you could see the hd detail but the problem is that then things like morph sliders and also viewport performance are a little bit laggy especially on older systems even on my system i mean i can i can still move one character but if i had three or four characters that's going to be a problem if i change any of these sliders around then it'll take a moment for them to kick in so there's no fluid preview so this has been changed that the default sub d level is now one in the viewport so it's a nice little compromise between faster viewport performance and then the render sub d level is still two levels higher at three by default so in your render you'll see more detail and if you want to see those in the viewport you just have to crank up this number here Did we say navel, <laughs> navel, navel out, navel size? I'll give you a larger, larger belly button. There we go. That's that's more that's more like it, isn't it? <laughs> and then also there's this other thing, which I like, which is navel vertical HD. So that's like make the navel vertical. <laughs> Very cool. Navel hollow. Insert belly button fluff here. That's nice. I think that at 60%. I think I think we're good. Or maybe that's a bit too much. 30%. <laughs> he has a navel now. <laughs> An outy horizontal. <laughs> I think that would require a trip into ZBrush. <laughs> Belly button. Very, very chiseled face here, my man. Hank. Good to see you. I might actually save him just so that... Nothing untoward happens. I don't want to waste an hour of work. So I'll make another folder here. Call him Hank. Hank 9. And let's save the whole scene. Hank 9. Alpha version. 
It would crease sideways on a heavier person. Okay. You are correct, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe vertical wasn't such a good idea. Thank you, Vanishing Point. I'll take the verticalness out. I don't know if we have... I don't know if we have that way that we have basically navel horizontal. Do we? So vertical... Oh, I didn't I didn't do vertical. I didn't do... I did hollow... Horizontal, and we do have horizontal. There you go, buddy. Horizontal. And there's that fold. Very good. Hey, thank you for the input. Appreciate that. Okay, do we need to do anything else? Eyes. We haven't played with the eyes yet. Let's see what we can do there. Eyes. And we can see if we can have a side-by-side -side render with him and Greta. I don't know how that's going to come out. Cheeks, eyes, eyes base. Oh my! So these are the these are the endless hours of fun we can have with the asymmetry angle left. Oh, also, let me go and put the mesh resolution back to preview one again, just for faster viewport performance. Need minus sixty on this. And the right angle, maybe just minus 30. Oops. I think also the eyes need to come closer together. The eyelids relax upper. He has a little bit of a lazy eye on the right, maybe. Just like, you know, like that. Crease height left. Never leave the crease height as it is. Position depth right. Oh yeah, that's the that's the depth of where the eyes are here. <laughs> that would be difficult to fit glasses for him. Eye position width. And so this is that, but there's also a width parameter, I think, uh, that brings both eyes closer together. There's the almond shape. Pupil slit, we won't be able to see that. Eye hole angle. Oh yeah, good stuff. Depth hole height, there we go. So that's the, where in the face are the eyes? I'm thinking a little bit lower than the default. Rather than higher. But that's just my opinion. Let me know about the eye height. <laughs> There's a whole size, width, position. I'm sure there's a way to move both eyes together. Position, side, side, left. Oops, that's actually the eyes themselves. Let's not work with that. <laughs> Angle, crease, fold, inner, thickness. My goodness. And whole size is... Is that? Oh, I see. It's eye width. Okay, good stuff. Eye. Whole eye width. That's the one. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Vanishing point. Are you in Florida? If you are, I think I know who you are. I think you have a lot. If you are the person I think you are, you have a very large catalog on renderosity, I believe. If that is correct, if not, then then do disregard me. <laughs> Georgia! Maybe I'm mixing you up with somebody else. But you've been around for a while, right? Is it maybe I am I am not mixing you up after all. <laughs> you might just be. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Okay, so that, and then we have, what did we say about the height? I was thinking the the height a little bit lower. Oops, that is that's not, that's the eyeball height. Sorry, I meant the <laughs> eye hole height, like that. I'm thinking. I 
Are we good with the eyes? Is the eyelashes? My god! We have a whole eyelashes folder. That's insane. We haven't applied materials to the eyelashes yet, but curl uniform lower. Jesus Christ, really? <laughs> That's insane. Eyelash morphs. Tons of them. Eyelash curvature. <laughs> Somebody had too much fun with this. Let's not worry about the eyelashes. <laughs> we'll be here all day. <laughs> Yes, Sam, that is correct. That is absolutely right. Which also lines up with the theory, well, not, not a theory, but it's um, the brain doesn't have any nerve receptors and the eyes are essentially the visible part of the brain. It's totally correct. Eyes are technically brain, yes. <laughs> that is one thing I think you can believe on TikTok. <laughs> oh, no worries. Thank you for clarifying that. I appreciate that. Maybe I got the name wrong. Um, there's somebody in, in Florida here, he runs a small company um, and he used to make and still makes a lot of uh, poser content as well as 3D content. I thought that was also Vanishing Point, but that also might be might be same name, different company, might also be different name. I do that quite often that I just <laughs> completely mix things up. So, Are we good with our guy here? Is there anything else you think we should improve? Both on the whole body as well as the face. Oh, the ears, that's something we could have a look at before we get him dressed up and then hopefully we can make a little render out of him. Also need to find him something to, um, you know, it's the same name, I th I'm not making it up. That is good. <laughs> that is good. Eyes are proof of God. He does that stuff now too, good stuff. So I mean, yeah, I thought, I thought that that, um, that name did sound familiar. Right, you know what? Um, that is probably the site I mean, Websole. It's a good name, nevertheless. And welcome all the same. It's totally cool that there's that there's multiple vanishing points. I'm okay with that. Face is too chiseled for someone that for that heightened statue. Okay, interesting. We just make him taller. <laughs> I like the face. We just make him taller. <laughs> I'd like to see him in conjunction with. Greta. So I don't know how Greta is going to look next to him, since these guys are supposed to be at least renderable together. Let me just have one quick crack at the ears. I do like the chiseled face, but I, I hear what you're saying about the about the about the height. Let's uh, see where the ears ears have their special section here. Ear symmetry. Let's let's deal with the with the base features first. Eye height, <laughs> indeed. Eye size lower. Yes, of course. Well, first of all, Greta has elf ears. Do let me know, Julia. Maybe it's time for another poll. Do we want Hank to have elf ears also? Should he have elf ears? And no cat ears are on the menu, but we can have regular ears, we can have elf ears, and we can have proper Mr. Spock ears, like elf ears long. And you know, anything in between, but what tendency do we want? <laughs> he should have dwarf ears. What do they look like? I don't know what dwarf ears look like. I think you can combine them as well. Unless you screw things up that way. <laughs> And then it's, of course, earlobe size. Earlobe length. <laughs> Small, flattish ears. Would they at least have a tendency of elf ears then, Nate? What do you think? Pointy, regular, small or large. I like it. It's so pointy goes into this kind of direction here. We don't know if elf ears are part of it or not, but definitely pointy. As the pole progresses, there's also small ears. Let me see if I can do that. Small like ear 
ear size, ear lobe size. Make that small. Anything else with size here? Uh, I don't think I have like the whole ear as a size. There's a symmetry though. Yeah, let's build some asymmetry in. I like that. Ears position. So one ear could be a little bit higher. Not not much though. But maybe just by, by 30%. Maybe make this lower by 10%. There we go. <laughs> Toiny! Let's do tiny ears. It looks like pointy is definitely the favorite here. Pointy and small. Hmm, how do I make smaller ears? I'm not sure if I have a like an ear size slider. There's a height that does that. Elf is long, so definitely gonna make him a little pointy and a little small. That's pointy-ish. The size upper, I can make that smaller. And then there's also the earlobe size, I can make that smaller too. So that's as small as I can make it here. Earlobe attached or unattached. Earlobe length. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's as small as I can make it. Will that work? <laughs> Pointy and small. Hmm since pointy was 47 percent of all votes i might just make it a little bit pointier makes them a little larger too but maybe small and pointy small and pointy is that is it one ear is definitely non-symmetric here i think maybe maybe the right one should come up like so Maybe this should come down. Small, tiny ears. I think that's pretty much what we're going to do with him for now. Let me go and save this and then bring Greta in as well. And we can see what, what, uh, what else we want to do so that we have a good looking two shot there in something like the swamp land or something like a nice outdoor shot. So he is saved and then we'll go and just move him kind of over here for now. And then I'll bring Miss Greta in. Hank and Greta. Perfect. Greta V2 dejowled. Right? I think I said this last time. Often what happens is when you go to the hairdresser and you, you want to know if they've cut your hair absolutely correct and they usually do that but it seems to be not correct and it seems to be um well there we go she's she's quite a bit taller than he is uh, and it's sometimes it seems that they've they've just miscut your hair but it's really not the hair that is the hair is usually lined up perfectly but it's the ears that are not on the on the same height so i'm really stoked that they put that into um genesis 9 call him hank 9 by the way, I don't think he's going to be available from the store. Just wanted to say. <laughs> we could just make Greta a little bit shorter. I don't think we've revealed Greta's size yet. Do we want to leave them? Do we want to make Hank a little taller or... <laughs> Oh, I still have the old UVs. Do you know, I wonder, Changeling Chick, if um, what happens if we load them onto the freshly loaded in Genesis 9 figure? So it could be that she is, in fact, the old Genesis 9, kind of the alpha version that I had. But this one, I've just loaded in afresh. Let me see what's updated here. So there's, there's a couple of things that have been a little messed up in my version of Death Studio. It could well be that something's gone wrong. Hank's height is perfection. Okay. Norm Fox says that's fine as it is. <laughs> Size looks fine to you, Websol. I, I like it. <laughs> I 
I'll speak to Travis from DAS and I'll see if I can make these, these people available. Both of them. Why not, indeed? <laughs> I don't really want him small, I know. I'm thinking just... Um, maybe maybe Greta could be a little... Um, I, I don't know. Does it, it's, it's, it'll, it'll work fine. It could literally be her half-grown-up son. And Greta could be like 127. Just It's just not showing. I could also save her out. This is another thing we can try. I can save her if once I, f I verify what are the new files of the, the Genesis files that have literally been updated yesterday, um, I'm sure I'll be able to, to import this, just the shape uh, onto, the, onto the new, new figure. I'm sure I'll be able to make it work. So if we're good the way things are, then let's give Hank some pants and some skin materials. We'll see what we can... What we can do then? I like to save him in the in the center position. So I'll go and make. I'll go kick her. I'll leave her in and bring him. Whoops. Brings him's backs. I have seen that we now have some basic wear with the figure so this is something that wasn't there before but it's women's underwear so i don't think that's gonna that's gonna suit him i'm gonna go and have a look for either the genesis 8 basic wear or there's also these ones the d4 swim shorts for genesis 8 they'll probably work on genesis 9 <laughs> that'll be good so auto fitting works just like before uh, but we now have these additional uh, templates here, which are so, so important that you can do something like a, like a loose fitting template uh, that we didn't have before. So nothing is always tightly fitted. I'm thinking these might even be, might be, are they loose? They're not that loose. I might get away with the tight template. Let me try that first. But we also have the footwear and the glove template, and they're basically missing the fingers and the toes. So let me see body suit tight, see what happens. And then on top of that, there's D4. So <laughs> body suit loose. Yeah, that, I, was, I was half thinking loose or tight. Yeah, that. <laughs> let me try. Let me try the other one. And if that doesn't work. Sorry, Hank. Let's try loose. Eight male. Bodysuit loose. It's not quite working. <laughs> it's not quite working. It could be the legs. Could be Hank's legs. Let's try that again with... There's another item that I'm thinking we can try. And one is by 3D Universe, the stylized 2021 character has something. If I can do, do I find him here? That's similar clothes here. That's the that's them. That might work. Let's see if that works. Eight male, and we go with tie. Oh, we, we go with loose. Bodysuit loose. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, not bad. <laughs> Better than the swim shorts, I gotta say. Working well. Okay, Hank has... Left thigh has a, has a bending going. Whoops, I'm so sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to do that. This is, this is that, isn't it? So... It works. Genesis 8 clothing working fine on Genesis 9. I like it. That is good. That is good. Now that you're decent, Hank, to help me pick the correct skin shader for him. So, just like for the female version, we have four different ones we have a caucasian one we have an asian one 
African-American look and we also have a Hispanic look. Um, wasn't this? The, 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 that. And uh, materials in eye ray and in skin. These are the female looks here. This is the AKHD skin detail map and we have one for the female, one for the male. And then we have any of these. So I'll, I'll, I'll look at all of them and you let me know which one you'd like to use. Side chafing happens to the best people. <laughs> Hank does not appreciate the criticism of his legs. <laughs> Poor Hank. That is that. Uh, let me go and just have a look at... To make sure we, we... We deal with his eyes and the mouth as well. Eyes, eyelashes. So eyes perhaps first. Brown is good. Like these things, they might be, they might be funky. Yes, that, look at its eyes. Look at that. It's also something green. Also not bad. Amazing what difference the eye color makes. Yes, thank you so much, Julia. That is exactly what we need to know. I think light eye color, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm digging this here for now. It's kind of cool. I think the tear already has its material applied to it just in case it doesn't i'll just go and add that here too and then of course those all being hierarchical material presets you don't have to select the item if it's a hierarchical like h material here you can have the top figure selected and then just click the material and then it just filters through it's kind of nice let's see if we can find the eye lashes <laughs> my god there's the color and the style <laughs> insane variation black I mean, black is one thing. There's also brown. We already have the eyebrows in this kind of darkish color. Let's make them black. And then once we've done that, there's the style. So we can have cartoony eyelashes. Hey there, Hank. How's it going? Good to see you, buddy. Eyelashes curly. Eyelashes dense. Dense too. The return of dense. Style messy. He strikes me as the guy who has messy eyebrows. Natural. Short. How about short and messy? Sparse. Sparse lower, sparse upper. And straight. Bats for lashes. <laughs> I'm thinking, um, I don't know, messy. He's the messy kind of eyebrow kind of guy. 47% say we should go with Hispanic. Okay, that is interesting. Let's leave it up for a moment. Let's leave... Oh, no, it ended. What a shame. <laughs> People were still voting. <laughs> the Hispanic is so far won. Dang. <laughs> it was too fast. <laughs> okay, Hispanic it is. We're going to go through all the skin options, so just so that we see it all. I just receive them all. <laughs> and skin, skin here, skin. So that was this one here, number one. This is skin two. I might actually go and, shall I save them all? I'll, I'll save them later. I will render him out in all skin color so that you can, that you get an impression of what he, what he looks like with any of these colors. I do like him actually. So this one is the second one, which I think is Hispanic in this case. And then the third one here, that is African-American, like the Darius type skin. Sweet. And then we have Asian. It's, it's slightly different on the females. I think maybe that's going to change. White or Caucasian is skin number one on both male and females. Then skin number two looks like it's the Asian for the female, but skin number two on the male is actually the Hispanic one. <laughs> then three is African-American on both male and female. And then four is Asian on the male character, but it's Hispanic on the female character. Just, you know, small inconsistency that may get fixed. I don't know. I don't know. It may not. 
What did we say now? Did we say we wanted the we want Hispanic? Okay, so Hispanic is, and I think that suits him as well. It's kind of this this weathered outdoor look. Now, um, one thing that's been uh... <laughs> you're very welcome, people. Welcome to the stream. So now he's an average height for his ethnicity. Absolutely. So um, there's been there's been quite a bit of discussion on the forum in, in regards to nipples. And since he's a man, I can probably show you some nipple morphs if you like. So they will be they'll work the same on the female. I haven't really looked into them all that much, but while we're here together, let's have a look how that would work. So the nipple position is different on the men and on the women, just the position. But if you look at the a wire shaded view here you can see that they're no longer part of the sd geometry like any of these things like the the navel if you look at the navel we've dialed that in earlier but in base resolution it's barely visible so this is this is a feature that's been created with hd morph so a geometric change at a higher subdivision resolution that is then being imported reverse calculated and then made available if and when you dial up the uh, both the slider as well as the subdivision geometry and for the nipples, it's the same, I believe. Let's see if we can find them. And so men and women have nipples in different positions because the, 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 the um, texture kind of changes into a different uh, spot. Under actor chest, there's feminine and masculine nipples. So for anyone who was confused about, hey, what types of nipple things do we have? I'm just gonna zoom in and show you these. These are the female nipples. We've got areola, depth, feminine. So there's two groups here, uh, feminine and masculine, essentially, you know, nipple sections. So areola, uh, depth, diameter, depth, feminine, um, diameter, feminine, nipples, yes or no, essentially, and nipple tips. And for the men, we have essentially the same thing and I can show you what they look like as they come out. Now notice this is also going to be only really noticeable when we change this into the HD viewport again. Let's just focus on you know one, one nipple at a time here. So first of all on or off so that's nipples masculine HD. If you enable that then this is how they how they come out. This is kind of, you can just about see that here. But if you zoom in closely, they're very pointy. And that's because I need to go and change this into the into the high subdivision thing again. So from one to three, that should do the trick. Takes a second. And then we'll see more definition in there. You have very masculine nipples. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's kind of mid-October now, so it's probably not mid-October anymore. It's probably more like late October. So there we go, that's that's that. If I just search for nipples in the masculine thing, so this is 100%. Then nipples tips masculine large. We can, so let me, let me go and do that. That's where nipples come from. But these are these are kind of the base shapes that come with it. I have no doubt that we'll get, you know, extra special nipple packs, third party, like, you know, 150 varieties of nipples eventually. And stuff like that. This is diameter masculine. Then we have depth masculine. That's like how far they come out. And if you do need it, anything beyond that, then once again, parameter, either change the limits, switch them off, or just put in a different number and then, you know, give him give extra long nipples if you must. <laughs> it's all possible with the, with the sliders here. There's the areola diameter masculine. That's like the outside bit here. And once again, if you needed that to be larger, um, play with the parameters here, with the, with the limits. It easily distorts, so you can see what's happening to the geometry versus the texture. That is what happens. And there's now a delay in me playing with this because um, I've, I've cranked up the viewport resolution to three. 
And then there is Aerial Adept Masculine. There we go. <laughs> Nipples on a man. I'm going to go switch them off again. And switch my viewport back to... Mesh Resolution 1 default. I just wanted to show you that because there's a lot of discussion about... Um, about it and how is it going to work and so we do have some morphs in the in the shape morphs pack but i have no doubt that there's going to be other types of shapes and sizes coming out eventually it does doesn't it even um like here this is, this is a good good example so i'm getting kind of 60 frames a second and this is i'm in in uh, sub D level one now, but just by it drawing the wireframes or like wire texture shaded, for example, takes a second. It really is struggling. So now I'm more closer to like 20, maybe even 15 frames a second. You can see that strobing. And this is, is going to be incremented if you, um, if you add, if you had multiple characters and other bits and pieces. If ever you wanted to see wireframe overlay in filament, you can also see that. That is on the draw settings tab. If you don't have that open, you can bring it in from window tabs, window paints tabs. There's draw settings or you can go and just right click any of these spaces and then go and add paint from here. And then in here, I think under drawing, there's the draw node wireframe. So you can also just add that and then you have filament with wireframe overlay. And it's the same uh, same issue there. We have just a little bit of reduced viewport performance. Yes, yeah, so if you ever do want to see, if you do like filament and you want to work with it and you want to add wireframe to it, you can, you can totally see that as well. Just thought I wanted to bring it to your attention. So we have him in Hispanic. We have his shorts on. I'm thinking if we wanted to turn him into a picture together with Greta, I might just go and save him out here. Um, we need to probably give him something else to wear. I mean, maybe he wears a casual T-shirt, or maybe he wears something else. Maybe he has a naked upper body. I, I don't really, I don't really know. Any any suggestions what he could wear? Maybe he just has accessories. That's a possibility. I'm happy for him to have a T-shirt or a muscle shirt. Or we can have the Plague Doctor cape or the Plague Doctor hat. <laughs> that would be interesting. Plague Doctor belt. Does he have a hat here? Hat, yeah, look at that. Let's see what, see what Hank looks like with the Plague Doctor hat. <laughs> Chest hair and nose hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chest hair. Do we have that in, uh, in Genesis 8? Oh, that's the material. Sorry, that is... Totally not what I meant. Hat, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, that might be that might be large. I'll just say none here for the hat. <laughs> Tattoo over his heart saying Greta. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good hat look for him. I I have a feeling no. <laughs> Forget the hat. Does he need hair? Forget the hat. Do we do we give him hair? There is a default hair that comes with the Genesis 9 Starter Essentials that has just popped up. It's this one here, the Deforce Pixie hair. I don't know if it's going to suit him, but th that's popped up this morning. So that is a strand-based hair, is it? Looks like it is. Oh, no, that's just a cap here. Maybe it's not quite... <laughs> Quite finished yet. Oh, I can I can see it. I think we need to go into uh, kind of pixie hair cap. There we go. This is this is it. We may have to go and set the line tessellation to some. No, we have that. We have that. Doesn't show up. Do we need to make that higher? I think three is actually something that should show it already. Doesn't show up. Could be that it's not showing in um, in filament. Could only be an eye ray thing. Yeah, look at that. I think it's coming out in eye ray. <laughs> Mullet hair. 
<laughs> yeah, filament won't show it. Yeah, that might that might make sense. That might actually work for him. You know, we don't have lighting yet, but <laughs> that might actually be the that might be good hair for him. That's not bad. Eye ray hair. I have a feeling it's either going to be grey for him or it's going to be something more like a black. Beard, yes. Let's give him a beard. That's a good start. Either could be a tash. I mean, we would we would literally mess with the with the whole chin thing if we didn't have a if we didn't have a beard. If we put a beard on this. Let's make that a little bit um, lighter before we put proper lights on him. Skin complexion eats up a bit of light. See if we can find the perfect beard for him. Like this beard here. <laughs> Victorian. That would work. What other beards do I have? The Victorian is great. There's also the this beard here. Happy to try either of them. There's the mullet hair. That's got the vintage hair. I've got that. Definitely. <laughs> this is Toon Comb over here. It's one of my favorites. I really like that. There's also the Tash here. Abram hair and mustache. That might work well. I think this is fiber mesh hair. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll show you. This is Genesis 8. And I'll leave it on none. Now we add a particular color to that. <laughs> oh, we make it pink like Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly. That didn't work, did it? Dang. Sometimes that happens when you're in eye ray and you apply something. It may not. It may not actually show up. Doesn't want to do it. For some reason. These aren't, no, they're definitely materials. They're not shaders. How about this? Does, will that work? Yes, there we go. Good stuff. <laughs> now it's done it. Nice. So what I like about this versus a full beard is that we leave the beautiful clefted chin that we've crafted in place. So let's make that a contender. Move on to the next one. <laughs> Perfect, Yoshi says. <laughs> like mine. Oh dear, yeah. We need to. That's. We should maybe create J9. I like that idea. Him and Greta together. This is great. <laughs> let's try the the other two that I think might work. I'll go and just switch this off. And let's try the other couple that I found here, like the, like this one might might be interesting, with this one on the, on the bottom here. This is a goatee. Let's try that. We need to have more more male facial hair featured. Yes, buddy. Oh my, the sophistication. <laughs> Skinny Lee says that's perfect. Yoshi reckons it's better. Let's see what we have in the materials section here. This is actually a nice effect. I mean, it happened by accident now, but the, the top hair is kind of black and the beard is gray. Usually what happens with men is that the hair turns gray earlier than the beard. And then they go and buy a bottle of, you know, hair color and then they make it they don't just give it like an additional color they make it pitch black like you know what what it may have looked like 50 years ago <laughs> very cool so then but then they forget to color the beard because the beard then starts creeping in with the gray so let's see if we have other hair colors here That would be more in tune with one another. 
I like that it's not a uniform color either. That is a bit... That there's variation in there. What else we got? What else we got? So I like them all, really. I think that might be the wrong color. <laughs> Beard grows too fast, yes. And also in weird ways. I, I find that my this hair behaves relatively, you know, like you have hair behave but this hair just behaves differently first of all it's like super wiry but then it also different strands grow at different speeds for bizarre reasons so you'd leave it like two weeks and then the couple come out they're like really long and the others are relatively short still some are curly some are not it's like it's weird beard hair is weird <laughs> And half red, you know, my dad was like that. It's, it's if I leave it longer, then I creep in like that. So now it's just like salt and pepper with some gingery bits creeping in there, but only on the beard, never on on the top. It's it's weird. <laughs> so I think we're getting we're getting good with the beard here. I think I like this color here. Let's see what other beards we have. Let's go and switch that off, and let's have. One last look at maybe this beard here. Comes with a hair prop as well. So just the hair. This sorry, just the beard. That'll go over over his, his wonderful clefty chin. So I'm not entirely sure if I if I like that. I do like to see this this whole you know chiseled chin we've spent so much time building out. <laughs> Even though I have to say. If that is not bad with the correct hair color. Nikon. And there we have eye ray and hair. Also not bad. I like the fuzzy bits here. <laughs> This one's black and white. <laughs> Definitely for the for the aged gentleman. So the, the proper black one here, the black material, still has gray bits in it. Don't know if there's a way to to blend those out. That's black and blue. <laughs> like the the um, the classic aprilish ones. Black and blue, blue, blue black and pink maybe. That's like Billy Connolly on steroids. That's the one, as Kanye says. <laughs> he does look more friendly with his beard, right? <laughs> and he needs <laughs> food bits in it to eat later. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm going to go with the second one. Let's have another look at the Abraham mustache. This was the first one we tried. Also not bad, but I think my favorite really was the second one. The sophisticated gentleman style. But hey, actually, I'm going like to let you make the decision. So we have three beards for now. We have the Nikon beard, uh, which is the, the one with the, with the full thing. That, have I just deleted that? This, these, are, these are the options. So the first one is the Abraham mustache. That's option one. And you get to vote the Abraham mustache. Or is it going to be the... Uh, the second one, which I, which I think was called the Medieval Moustache. I'm going to look that up. And the third one was the Nikan Moustache. Let me go and uh, put that back in Nikan Beard. I think I deleted that. I shouldn't I have done that? Sorry about that. <laughs> Julia, see if you can put a poll out. Beard number one, two or three. This is beard three, the Nikan Beard. I'm gonna make that <laughs> nice one. Thank you, Julia. Nikon beard, medieval tash, or the Abraham tash, exactly. And we can we can play with the colors. Hair one has that, and then hair two. 
It's not actually... Yeah, there we go. Has that, yeah. So just to bring that, make that darker, we're just going to go and turn both of them a little darker. That probably gets rid of the, the grayish type bit, so we can even make it darker if we wanted to. Yeah, wow. <laughs> 25 votes say already we the the medieval tash but i'll let you keep voting a little bit longer <laughs> i can always render him out in in both versions so i'm happy to do that i'll render him out in, in like i did the the other like greta the other character in all the skin shaders so that you get uh, that you get a fair representation of what the male character looks like so far, 25 volts. We also have a few questions here. Let me just have a browse through here. Ascania was asking, do we get uh, eyebrows for Genesis Ale, Ale male uh, with him? So currently they're not in the package, but I have a feeling that when the Genesis 9 Starter Essentials release, they're probably going to be eyebrows in there. I, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Currently we don't have them, but I would imagine they'll be, they'll be part of it. Last I knew was that they were working on, on eyebrows. They're not quite finalized yet. This is Tash number two. Before we close out the vote, just letting letting that up here for a little bit longer. There's another question that I received recently on my own channel, which was, will the power post templates work on Genesis 9? And again, I would assume so. They are not hooked up. The basic functionality works. If you select Genesis 9 and then you go over here, the basics work, but for Genesis 8 and 8.1 and even 3, we had customized templates for this. So I would imagine that's coming. Again, it hasn't landed yet, but it might not even be there on launch, but I would imagine this is a, one of those core features in Dash Studio. I'm sure that's going to be supported. If not at launch, then I'm sure at one point. Casey says, and I'm so glad you could get up for this. This is really, really cool. It brings a very different energy to the start of the day, isn't it? Casey, so if the Genesis 8 brows work on 9, does that go for the Supernatural brows product as well? I would imagine, I would imagine we can test them out, actually. I don't know if I have the Supernatural ones, but I'm happy to try them out. Uh, like the, the, the regular ones, if they fit Genesis 9. See if that works. Daniel... When will Genesis 9 be released? And I would like to know if it will improve the transferring morphs in R3DS wrap. Um, Daniel, I don't know when Genesis 9 releases. The, the date I heard was mid to late October. So it is mid October now, so it hasn't shown up yet. First part of the puzzle, DAS Studio 4.21 is in your hands. So keep watching those DAS emails and keep watching the install manager and see if it it, it, it should happen before October, before Halloween. I'm sure it'll happen before Halloween. Otherwise, Daz would have told us. And the second part of your question, has it improved the um, the, the usability in R3DS wrap? Yes, due to the fact that the eyes and the mouth bags are no longer part of the character, you can now use basically the hollow shell. And we have that as part of the starter essentials. There's a thing called the def load. So when you go into your Genesis 9 Essentials, you have the full character, which is the one that I've loaded that comes with the eyelashes and the tear duct and the eyes and the mouth. And if you use this, then those things will not load. So you only get the outer shell, no eyelashes, no tear duct, no eyes, no mouth, no eyebrows. And that is the thing that you want to export and bring into R3DS wrap and then use that to wrap another character around. I've made a stream in which I've tried the very thing and it worked beautifully well. There's so much less to correct. This is another one of those killer features in Genesis 9. If you use that functionality a lot, you're going to love how that works. All, you know, all I needed to do was correct the eye sockets which are attached to the character and that was really nice. Brian uh, probably will add a link to that stream in my channel in, in, in a moment. There is a stream I did in which I've made Lilith 9. So I've used the Lilith 7 character from Genesis 3 and then wrapped Genesis 9 around her and I ended up with something that resembles Lilith 9 and it worked, it worked well. It was really cool. We did the, the character together on the stream in about an hour and it worked really, really well. <laughs> You're very welcome, Casey. 
What is the poll saying? The medieval Tash is certainly the winner after 30 after after 34 votes, 67%. Okay, good stuff. Nikon hair, Nikon beard gone. Abraham mustache gone. Okay. What else is there to do? Give him some clothing. The poor man, he needs something to wear. Right, I'm thinking. I just don't know what. I feel like we should give him some kind of a shirt. And then we're going to tell. Let's, let's test the eyebrows out now. Eyebrows. So make his. The Victorian Nine eyebrows. I'm going to take those away. And I'll go into my Genesis 8. I don't actually know, Casey, where the eyebrows are for Genesis 8 or 8.1. I can look for brows and I can find probably other brows in my library. But I don't know if I ever saw any in my library. Brows apply from Dharma. So that's a Genesis 8.1 character. So I could try those. See if those work. See if I can have any male ones here. FP Browse. I don't know who that is. Browse could be under. Could be under hair. Could also be under accessories or under anatomy even. Fumiko, Shah, Princess Browse, Toon Generation Browse. Let me try the FP ones. I don't know who. This could be. This could be the felt puppet. So they might look weird. Let me try Dharma Brows, just to see what happens there. So this is going to be eight female. Be also nice to give them slightly different brows. Ping! In place, there we go. There might be a slight gap here, so they may need a little bit of extra adjustments. Yeah, it looks like there's a small gap between those. Dharma eyebrows. Let me see some others. Here, princess eyebrows. They might also not look great because it's for a cartoon type character. This is by the princess by Joe Quick. They look like they're attached. They might actually work okay. And then Shah also has brows, so let me go and hide those and try the Shah brows. That is also 8, well, 8.1 female, technically. And, and, wait for it, popped into place. Those actually look really cool. If we make that a slightly darker color, then he has different eyebrows from Shah. Unless they're too plucked on the outside here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> they won't fly away. No, they're parented to the to the root figure. <laughs> let's use let's use those and see if we can find. The correct material for that brows or burn or black here we go that's that only oh yeah, that's a hierarchical material that's not gonna work because that's supposed to that's gonna look at Genesis 8 and we don't have any of that so not gonna work I'm gonna go and tweak it manually Oops, I was going to really just tweak the whole, all three material zones there. And then hope for the best. Uh, Hank's improved eyebrows here. 
I'm still clueless on Victorian eyebrows. I can try that. Let me try that. that that's going to be even better. The Victorian eyebrows. Ascania, let's do that. Shah eyebrows gone. Victorian eyebrows. Thank you for that. That's a great idea. And that is... The Victorian eyebrows. <laughs> and save, that's a good idea. And wait for it, wait for it. Well, maybe that's, that's it. <laughs> they would go well with it, wouldn't they? Uh, let's just adjust the color. This is going to be with the... That's going to work, isn't it? I think this was our beard color here. And I think, did we then go and... To make that a bit darker. I think that's what we did, wasn't it? Yes. I think... That might actually work. <laughs> Those are the ones! Okay, let's go save our man out. Hank, nine. <laughs> so all we need to do now is pick what he's going to wear. And maybe we don't have time to make a render with the two of them together. So I'll do that off the off stream or might try this out on a Twitch session in the afternoons. I might do that like Hank and Greta together because we do need to have a kind of family portrait with them together. Diego or Robioto. I, that, those are good names. <laughs> <laughs> I think Hank is Hank is good. If we give him a funky expression and some shirts or a, a kind of something to wear, that would be good. Oh, Hank. Any suggestions to what might work on the wardrobe front? Oh, the necromancer, what's he got to wear? He's got like shoulder pads, just a cape. Is that gonna work? <laughs> no shirt, just a cape. Hank just wears a cape. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. That's gonna be none probably, or is this like a loose thing? Maybe, maybe none. He just has a cape. <laughs> Chain mall shirt, good idea. We can try that. Oop, there's m multiple items here. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that works for him. <laughs> the torn t-shirt. I think somebody last time suggested when we were looking for outfits for Greta, somebody said the tactical armor. That was a good idea as well. <laughs> and sunglasses. <laughs> I think this is nice. Chainmail shirt. Let me see if I have that. Do I have it? Did you see it somewhere? Adventurer outfit. Good thing I haven't installed all the products that I own, huh? <laughs> because we'd be sitting here for hours just browsing through. Or maybe the waistcoat that the mouse usually wears. Also not bad. Yeah, or business shirt. <laughs> Some brass live under anatomy. Good point. Do we have any? Just if we wanted to try out more brows. Yeah, I think I've tried those already. No, hey, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with this outfit. That's that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can make uh, just a render where he goes and, and just stands in a proper pose with an expression that we can at least have a little portrait of him. 
with the you know with, with the lighting that we like rather than the default lighting and then we'll call it a day <laughs> we don't talk about bruno <laughs> petra wonderful to see you ballet outfit you think for him I didn't know you were from Germany. I, I I never thought about it. Thank you so much for subscribing to my German channel. That is really, really nice of you. I just saw that comment and thought, oh, Petra's from Germany. I had no idea. Or let's just say Petra speaks German. I don't know if you're from Germany, but... So, very nice to see you. Let's go and give him a pose. It could be the natural pose. Or it could be... could be like a... could be... Like the ultimate standing pose that might work for for him as well and while we speak about poses i want to show you something else that could be interesting that could be interesting so keep in mind this is a this is a female pose and this may not exactly work on him <laughs> yeah it does not okay good that's 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 okay it's fine. I'll just use... I'll just use a kind of a regular standing pose. And we'll also try out Changeling Chick's um, overlay in a second. Let me see. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. That was this one here. Could be that. This, this. Could be. Could be this. This could be it. Gina Natural. That, that could be. Is that going to kind of work-ish? Yes, I do. Indeed, yes. Check my UV maps first. Yes, we'll do. Yes, yeah, so this uh, this pose converter that I have is a beta version by the Man Friday. And that will be released, but not when the figure comes out. It's scheduled for release a little bit later. But that's one of the pose converters that will... That will definitely come out. So it's, he's got muscly arms, so it's not going to work all that well. But just so that it doesn't really intersect here, I'm going to go and make him a little, you know, just give this a it's kind of a portrait thing here. We see his upper body like so, and we want to see a good expression on Hank. Hank. Hank, head parameters, pose controls, expressions. Um, what should he be? Uh, happy? Sad, excited, confident. I'll let you decide. Oh, we've, we've forgotten to apply the mouth material. <laughs> let me do that before we go even further. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Mouth material. Material mouth there's one and two let's just use, use the first one here second one even that's number one that's number two two types of mouth materials <laughs> silly silly's the best let's do silly i trust your judgment did i have my mesh resolution is one good stuff just making sure don't want to overburden my computer here Silly, Fra happy, happy is always good. And then there's incredulous, uh, pleased, sarcastic, scream, serious, shock, snarl, silly. All right, silly it is. That is actually very nice. <laughs> Happy, sad, surprised, or frightened. Let me show you all of those things. Like my money's on silly. Did we say snarl? No, sad, we said. That is, hello. <laughs> snarl. He's angry. <laughs> the man's angry. Happy. What is this one here? Option number one. Happy. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Second option. Sad. Don't cry, buddy. Don't cry. Third option, surprised. Uh, 
<laughs> yes, I can see that happening, even with, with a little bit of less surprise. And we can add a seam to it if we wanted to. And the next one is Frightened, like fear, right? That's, that's it. <laughs> yes, I like it too. <laughs> and then there's, of course, there's also silly, like, uh, like changing chick ch suggest changing chick suggestion. That was also nice. But this is, this is good, especially if we don't put it onto 100%. There was a really cool post pack for Genesis 2 back in the day, and that used to be the more expressions. And they would work in conjunction with these expressions. They would just add moreness to it. And like, you know, you'd had, you'd had fear, and then you have fear more. That was a really good post pack. Some really cool expressions on Genesis 2 back in the day. You, I think you can. Shall we try it out? Nate, to satisfy your curiosity. If we were to smuggle a five in here and then say, what is... Okay, kids, look away. Shield your eyes. This is... <laughs> yes, it works, Nate. It's just... It's, it might be, you know, might be unsuitable for regular viewers. There comes a point where the eyebrows just lift off the face. This would be like fear more. <laughs> what mood is Hank in? So far, we're all for surprised. 48% of you think he's surprised. Let me try that. Let me try surprise. Maybe this is what we're going to go with. Surprise. That's surprise. But then there's also silly. I do. I do actually like silly as well. Maybe silly and surprised. Silly and surprised. Let's just make sure the eyebrows stay on the face, huh? I'm going to do that. Thank you for the poll. That was good. That was good. Surprised and we mix in a little bit of silly and then there we are. A good light set. And we'll render him out as a funky little, funky little promo. Also, if we, if we just do this, so we see a little bit of his, of his body. So I'll keep him a tad wide, like so. New camera. Get that perspective right, like so. And I think we're doing we're doing this in, in square. Oh yes, that's that's not bad. Good stuff. Like like so. Let me render that out. And then also I might just go and give him a small head turn. So I think that already works with puppeteer to a certain extent. Does it? <laughs> does it, Jay? Does it? It does. Like that. And then we do the eyes as well. Maybe it's just look, actually. Pose, look side, side. Sweet! <laughs> I will go and save this as a different scene. And we'll call this, and then we're going to have a look at changing chicks uh, overlays here and see if those work. Hank, I'll call this one Hank Posed. I'm always having a lot of fun when I do this together with you guys. I have to say, this is already fun doing this on my own, but doing that together with you guys is just super, super cool. This is worth getting up to, got out of bed for at 6 a.m. Casey, I say um, for everyone who's down under and in the Australasian time zones, I'm thinking we should, every once in a while, we should do a stream that, that caters more for you guys because uh, 
4 p.m. Eastern works well because it catches the lunchtime crowd on the west coast of the US. It catches the evening night owls in Europe and the UK. Um, but maybe every so often we should just, you know, change it around a little that we do a stream kind of in the in the either late, late evening so that that's better for you or in the early, early morning here that you don't have to get up at ungodly hours. Okay, I'm interested in in what changeling chick sent over and see if that works. So talk me through this again. Do we have to go and apply this first? Is that true? I think so, right? <laughs> Mine girl, how you doing? Let me try it. Let me actually let me go onto the surfaces tab here. And with the hank selected, we have so many other eyebrows in here. Let me just go and get rid of some. Victorian nine eyebrows, we'll leave those here, but the Dharma and the princess and the Shah eyebrows we no longer need. Oh, that's just for the makeups, cool. So I can just go and pop those things on straight away, right? Like Kaplonk. We wait a second. Give that studio a, a moment here. You can do Midnight Danny, okay. Midnight Danny is also in Texas, so midnight your time, that would be 1 a.m. my time. <laughs> Why not? Oh, <laughs> uh, that is nice, Casey. <laughs> it's just that often um, you guys, and I speak for everyone who is in Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, you guys always often at, are at the suffering end of Eastern Standard Time Zones, <laughs> European Time Zones, so... <laughs> That's a good idea. We'll do, a, we'll do a night owl stream, like the late, 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 late stream. <laughs> Chasing, um, how come I have G9? Uh, I have a beta version, like most PAs have right now and it's just something that isn't quite finished yet uh, but the team are working on it and we were kind enough uh, we were kindly given a kind of a preview version and um, the same is true for victoria that's who's still in development i was one of the very few people who have victoria i'm really really chuffed about this do we oh yeah um yeah look at that so it looks like i have the old uvs i gotta look into that i really gotta look into that your spots. This is what happens when you have pre-release figures. This is partly the reason why you guys don't have the figure yet, because the team are still working on things and things aren't 100% perfect. So rather than giving you stuff and then things don't work a couple of weeks later, this is why, you know, we are the canaries in the coal mines. We have this and we sometimes have issues. So a little late for Asia, says Nico. Okay. So, um, Yes, that is, we need to look into that. Hank, we'll do that off the stream. For now, I might just go and uh, take the H spots off until I'm able to work this out and just go and make a little render out of this. Oh yeah, with the, with the correct light set, of course, as well. We don't, we don't currently have one yet. That is, that is awesome, or as awesome as it could be. I could render it with my own lights here, with Jay's killer lights, which aren't actually all, you know, which are, which also need work. Let's do Jay's killer lights, see how they work. And that's probably then the, that needs to be set to kind of something like this. Oh, that's too moody, actually. That's too moody. Let me use one of uh, Cake One's light sets. They're always really nice. They just, they just work out of the box. Maybe maybe the spooky edition since it is coming up to to Halloween. Maybe something like this. <laughs> yeah, if we just make that a little a little less hot. He looks like the devil now. No no no, I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Something less devilly. I don't mind moody. But less scary. It's supposed to be scary. That's why that looks like it. I do like a little bit of a colored accentuation from the back. That could work. 
bit of a shadow here. That might not be bad. It's a little blown out here. She has so many cool presets. These are great to just feel yourself into the type of lighting that you want. Which is partly why there's so many presets. You literally just try them out and see, is this where you want the picture to go? I like him. I like him. I like the tash. I like the eyebrows. I like it all. I'm going to go and make a new a second camera that's just a bit closer on the face. And this one's camera mid. And then the new one is going to be camera close. Like so. And this I might just go and change the, the focal length on this. We love you, Hank. <laughs> Genuinely looks surprised, that man. I'll see if I can share him with you as a freebie. That would be really, really cool. I'll speak to Travis. That might actually be funky. I'll go and render him out and put him on my ArtStation page. That's just that's just cool. I actually, let me go render him out now. So we see a bit of a larger version of him. And then we'll call it a day. Let's make it with uh, 2,000, whoops, 2,000 iterations here. And at what size did we say? We'll make it uh, 2,000 maybe. I'll render them out, I guess, as 3 or 4K for you guys to have a look at. Obviously, he does, doesn't he, Casey? I think so too. And what I really enjoy about this is, is that it's like kind of this community project that we all just chip in with suggestions and... And we just make this together, you know? I think that's a really, really valuable thing that we have here. It's just nice to, to enjoy these things together. Can you use, um, the question from a web soul, can you use the geometry editor on hair? It'll depend on the hair. On card based hair, you usually can because it's geometry based. But if you have something that is um, line based, then you can't use the, the geometry editor or Mesh Grabber for that matter, because they all rely on actual geometry uh, to, <laughs> to, um, to make their changes. Hank, my God, seriously cool. <laughs> will Daniel, will Genesis 9 have any improvement in the female genitalia? I can tell you the female and male genitalia come with the figure, but if they're improved over the previous version, I cannot say. I haven't inspected them, to be honest, that closely. I know they fit and they work, but uh, I can't tell you if they are better. Uh, I don't know if there's any morphs in them. And Ascania, we can indeed fit male brows on Genesis 9. So I think we have pretty much answered all the questions on my list. If there's anything else that you want to know, please ask now. I'm just going to wait until this render finishes. And then, yeah, we'll go render him out. I will ask Travis if I can export these guys out, uh, both Greta as well as Hank. And uh, maybe you guys can have them as kind of, you know, starter characters. At least the shapes, that should be possible. <laughs> There's not much change physically on the genitalia. Okay, good stuff. Then the UVs have changed. Yes, I need to have a look at that. Um, while, um, while we talk about this, there is another thing that doesn't quite work in my version. So it could be that that's why the update hasn't worked. So there is an option uh, that lets us visualize the fitting templates. And that in my version of Das Studio just brings up uh, an error message. It used to work literally after that was mentioned in one of the webinars that we've had. But uh, since then, since one of the updates, it, it stopped working. And I have a feeling it's probably because I had an alpha version of the figure. So neck fold doesn't look all that nice. Yeah, I'll have a quick look at that um, later. You mean this one here, right? We want to smooth that out, you say? 
Yeah, that could be. Let's do that. Before we go, let me just quickly do that. It's it's really, really quick fix to do. And it's basically the same problem area that I've also um, changed on, on Greta. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll post this on, on Twitter right after the stream here. Hank Alpha. Yeah, let's do that. And you can do that in in either uh, ZBrush or Blender. Hank, Hank Post, Hank Lit. <laughs> I'll call that Hank Lit. Perfect. Oh no, actually, let's go over over save what we have here. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. It's uh, it's good to take care of these things. <laughs> Anything else we want to fix on him while we're while we're doing this? Oops. I've unpaused you, buddy. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah. So this this little neck thing here. That. Let's go smooth that out. Body hair needs fixing. Body hair needs, needs to appear first. I don't think we have body hair. <laughs> Do we? Oh, really? Okay, I'll have a look at that. I didn't see that either yet. That's those are those are the things that's going to take another hour <laughs> making that perfect. So we're not going to do that today. But I will smooth out the the neckline. Oh, error while importing a file. That's not good, is it? Let's just make sure that doesn't happen. If this doesn't work, I'll I'll leave it and I'll just work this out by myself. It's it's one of those things. We have a lot of parented bits and pieces on on Hank here. Yeah, that is. Uh, it's not exactly what I had expected, but okay, fine. This is that, that item that hasn't quite uh, imported. I have a feeling. But I think my man, the Hank here. It's ideally you do this not on the post figure, but just so that we have a, uh, just so that we get a, get a character going here. Or that we can make that render. Yeah, this here, right? That's probably enough to fix it. Which one, which shoulder pad did you say is kind of intersecting? This here, that's that we probably didn't see that. This is kind of overlapping here, so we can we could take care of that. I don't think we saw it quite all that dramatically. Oh, you mean here in the yes, 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 yes. I see, I see what you mean now. Here, this stuff, right? This also has some auto fit distortions here, so that's also not great. So maybe it's just not the right outfit for him. That that could be. Yeah, there's all, all kinds of issues happening here. Oops. I just move that in there so that no one sees it. <laughs> yeah, this you can you can have a lot of you can spend a lot of time uh, fixing these things. So those are distorted through auto fit, so. So let's let's more worry about Hank. Bring him back. This is why we all like using ZBrush because it's a literally one click um, back and forth between this and that studio for for quick fixes. It's perfect. So neck de dent. It's a good 
good name for that. And that is made a morph in here, neck de dent. Um, I can show you, I'm going to make a video soon about Man Friday's uh, OBJ companion that lets you do this relatively easy with Blender. So you can use Blender sculpting tools as well. There we go. That looks better. Taking care of a little bit of, a, of, his, of his chin here. <laughs> Of that, so I could have made that a little bit smaller and just just smooth out this uh, this dent, but I think it's gonna it's gonna work for our render. There, I think I'm happy with that. <laughs> just in case, I want to go back to that. Hank posed V two <laughs> groovy. Wolfman, the, um, the T pose was distorting clothing underneath your shoulders a little bit too much. So if clothing is in a resting pose, it drapes much better when you start from an A pose rather than from a T pose. So if you look at yourself in the mirror while you wear a T-shirt and you go into the T pose, you'll see that the T-shirt kind of drapes up or kind of pulls up and that is not a natural look for something when you want to when you want to drape clothing uh, it's also a more widely adopted um, pose for the industry which is why das went with the a pose in genesis 8 and that is still retained on genesis 9 so we still have the a pose here cool i'll go render this out and that's what i'm going to post on he needs a nipple ring. Michael, on, on that note, I think I'm going to say goodbye. Not because of that, but <laughs> the nipple ring we'll deal with later. Hey, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate this. I'm having the best of fun making this together with you. Um, I'm sure Genesis 9 will be with us very, very soon. I have no release date, um, but it'll 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 come. It'll come. You've got Dash Studio 4.21 already. You're going to get Dash Studio. You're going to get Genesis 9 very, very soon. Also, quick like mini announcement you're going to get the das masterclass very soon i know that das are in the final stretches of making that available the uh, to everyone uh, to every das plus subscriber there'll be the das studio masterclass will be on youtube for part one that is a like a 16 hour course that i've recorded recently in which you get to know everything there is to know about das studio to get you a really good head start on making great art part one teaches you the basics that's going to be available on youtube for free and parts two and three will be available to das plus subscribers so watch out for those email notifications notifications coming soon for that as well as Genesis 9. My friends, have a wonderful rest of Saturday. I hope I'll see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.